Hi, this is uh, Coach John from Learning Out of the Boss, and thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, today is uh, Monday, and you can see that I have two uh, big ears. Um, and the reason is because my three kids are at home, and I got to shut off their their noise. Uh. yeah, just in the meantime. Yeah, because uh, many primary sixers uh, text, texted me, they asking uh, for some help in the questions that they had seen in. PSLE paper two two one, yeah. So this video is especially created for them. So again, if you know of anyone who can benefit from it, especially just like my daughter, she's taking PSLE next year. You can also uh, share with other children who are taking PSLE next year as well. Yeah. So hope this video can benefit them in some ways. Okay. Okay. So here goes. Okay, so this is one of the questions that that um the children had asked me. So um I think whatever that has happened has happened, and after a paper is already over, there's nothing much you can do beside uh, learning from it. Yeah. So so I think we just want to make sure that this video goes out to children who have yet taken their PSLE. And then set the right context. Um, I think somehow yes, also we'll spark of some fear in some parents and children as well. So the intention of this video is to set thing into um, I mean the right context lah, and then also giving the children uh, somehow a healthy perspective towards learning maths. Okay, so remember in learning out of the box, we always teach our children um. Uh, KC and SU. Okay, so let's see if this five step can help. Okay, so here goes. Okay, a bookshelf can fit 30 large books. Okay, L, let's call it L, and 45 S, small books. Okay, so we have three large books and then 23 small books. The shelf. At most, how many more large books can be fitted into the shelf? Okay, so do your KC and SU, which is K stands for keywords. So highlight keywords first. Okay, so again, I'm so glad that I covered this during the physics uh PSLE readiness course for our children, and and I'm so glad that some told us that we managed to help them to spot some questions. Yeah, so so in this case, what I taught the children is that when you see all right, the math symbol for it will be two pimples, yeah, which is called ratio. Okay, so this is under this concept called equivalent ratio. Okay. Again, there are many ways to solve it. So I'm solving such a way that that um that um helps children to take on what they see. And also uh, me, myself, I'm not NIE trained. I don't have any like a uh, so-called official method. What I'm doing is just to support busy parents who still teach their children maths at home. And we have to, we have limited knowledge and resources. So what will best help us is to take on what we can see from the question. All right, so when you see all, Quickly write down, that's your ratio. So this is under equivalent ratio. So we have L is to S and that's 30 is to 45. Okay, now this question is quite tricky. Yeah? They ask for how many large books. Okay, so let me tell you a story or draw a model. Yeah, and this is the bookshelf. Okay. Okay. So, what do we do here? Okay. So, now what? So, imagine this. Uh, what you can do is. Uh, okay. So, 
now, um, okay, sorry, a bit dis distracted. Yeah, kids running around me. Okay, so imagine this, they want large books, right? So the whole total is 30, okay, 30 L, okay? So meaning that, okay, imagine we have, okay, what's this given, okay? So it's three, three L, three L. And then we have 23 S, again, just, using what they have, and then we need the answer here, which is a question mark. Okay, so imagine this. If we change this to L, or they give you L, wouldn't, wouldn't you be able to just take 30 minus of 3 minus of something L, and then give the answer straight away? Yeah, this will be the most direct one. It's, it's like almost like a part hole of um, part hole problem sum type that we, our children see in P1, right? Okay, so again, for parents who are not trained in problem sum type, uh, you got to be careful because uh, the whole problem sums are actually built around types, okay? So if you do not know types, it will be quite hard for the, your child to solve. Okay, so now, the intention is to change this to L. Okay, so change this to L. And then that means uh, we have to change the, we have to change this to this so we can take the number here, whatever that is. Okay, okay, you can see, you can hear laughter at the back. Uh. So, yeah, I mean, there's no right time to do the videos. So just want to get it done. Okay. So, with this in mind, how do you move from 45 to 23? Okay, so now it's about like strategic planning. How do you actually move this to this? And you realize that they purposely give you 23. Uh, it's not exactly a multiple of three or five. So, you have to work with odd numbers like fractions. Okay? Okay, so here goes. Okay, so for brain six wise, uh, what we can do is, okay, I think I'm a bit long winded. Lah. I just want to make sure that the children uh, really un understand the gist of it. Okay, so okay, so let's okay, let's say this is twenty. Let's say this is twenty twenty. It's multiple of five. So we can like for example, we can't travel from here to here. We can't. So we will divide by nine. Okay, which is five. Then we times a uh, four. Okay, we times a four. So, um, but in this case, it's something that some kids, I believe that will feel not so comfortable, especially when they can't do something like this. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, the fastest way that we can do is we, Okay, we change this to one. So let me erase this away. Okay, the video is for children, uh, so let's do it very slowly. And of course, uh, some children need more time to process. Okay, so divide by 45. Same thing do here, divide by 45. So we have 30 over 45. And then let's erase this away. Then here we do the same thing times 23, times 23. So we have 30 over 45 times 23. Okay. Okay. So let's do some calculations. So the number of L is 30 over 40. 5 times 23. Again, simplify divide by 5, divide by 5 is 9. Divide by divide by 5, sorry, divide by 3 is 2, divide by 3 is 3. All right, so right now, okay, you can use calculator straight away. So 2 divided by 3 times 23. 
we have uh, 15 and 1 third. Oops, my apologies. Okay, 15 and 1 third. Okay, so now I will presume that let's draw the same model. Then we have 3L, we have 15 and 1 third L, we have something L, right? So this is like a part hole again. Remember, we, we did this part hole. Okay, so now the unknown number of remaining book, large books that we can put inside uh, will be 30 minus 3 minus 15 and 1 third. Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh, so we have uh, 27 and 1 third. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Minus 15 and 1 third. And this one is, uh, okay, so let's say our calculator breaks down. Okay, so we have like that. Which is 11 and 2 third. Okay. Yeah, the answer is already. We will just simply tear the last book into three parts and keep two out of two parts in the bookshelf. Yeah, I mean, it's better than not having too many books, right? Um. Okay, so, but again, for mass question, we can't do that. Yeah, so if I can draw this, okay, let me just erase this away. Okay, what can I do? Okay, so, okay, what does this really mean? Yeah, I mean, um, some children may not feel comfortable. Wow, 11 whole and 2 third. Yeah, so, do we round out or round down? So if I can draw out again, okay, let me just draw again. So the last compartment now uh, is 11 and 2 third books. Okay. So which means that you can't stuff 12 books because there's no space. At most is 11 whole books. Okay. So you have to round down and change this to 11 instead, yeah? So the answer is 11, okay? So I hope that this one will really uh, give you some idea on how to tackle such questions and score equivalent ratio. And again, there are many ways to solve it. So um, I'm sure other tutors and educators may have other more advanced methods. For me, I have always uh, liked simpler methods because um, I'm looking at how children solve and I think we need to bring ourselves to their level rather than they coming out to our level. Yeah, again, um, like many other parents are not trained in uh, whatever NIE methods that, that teachers are taught. What we can do is just to come up with our own methods to support fellow parents who still teach their children mess at home. And we're just doing whatever way we can in terms of this COVID to help our children to cope with school and the stress as well. I know it's not easy. Okay, so let me do a summary. Okay, so in this case, remember the R, okay, is ratio, okay? Then they want large books. So you ask yourself, if I know the 23 small books is equivalent to how many large books, I can use a simple part whole approach that I have learned in primary one and two to solve it. But again, I can't because it doesn't have the uh, info. So I have to change this to large books, okay? So in this case, from 30 to 45, how do you move to 23? So you can do by this kind of um, lever, okay? Then this is your working. Yeah, if you want to explain to your kid I think uh, this part would be something that you need to think note as well. Okay. Then uh, some children who need more help with this part, pressure multiplication, you need to support your child in here as well. Okay. And of course, uh, fraction, subtraction, which is over here. Yeah. And, and I think some kids will need some help from here. Yeah. Again, if your kid is really smart, fast, um, he can basically move from left to right. Yeah, what about children who need a bit more time and they need more support and they don't have the kind of support? 
yeah so parents um this video is for you you really just need to take note of these three asterisks and if you want to explain uh let me just repeat for you this part because you know that it's 11 and 2 third you can't stuff in 12 books because there's no there's no books there's no space for 12 books and most is just part of the 12 book which and we can't tear the last book into like three parts and only stuff in two parts okay so we have to like waste some space in a sense waste some space and we can only stuff in like 11 books at most and the answer is 11 okay and the answer is 11 okay so i hope this video helps and and then i will send it to our lb kids okay take care bye bye